YouTube, it's Ivy, and I thought I would throw together this little live 2D tutorial. I'm still a beginner, but I haven't seen a video on this, and I think it's really pretty, and that people would really like it if they knew how to do it. So, uh, what I'm going to be teaching today is a shimmer effect that moves with motion. So, let me show you an example of what I mean. So right here you can see that she has some little sparkles in her hair right here. It's pretty subtle, but they are there. And as her hair moves, they go glitter glitter. And it's a really simple effect, but it's pretty and it adds a little bit of motion, I think, in areas that might not have it. And since it's pretty like spread out and not too precise, I think it can be applied to a large area, which is nice. So yeah, let me show you how I do it. So this is made up of two parts. I'm gonna apply it to the section next. Um, so you're gonna want a control and a actual shimmer. And I'll show you what I mean by that. The control is this orange bit that you see right here. So I made it exactly the same as the part that I want to apply it to. Uh, that just makes it easy to stick it right on top of any warps or you could even glue it if you were using a lot of mesh editing instead of warps but for this particular case I can just plop it in with this mesh and its warps and it should move with the spot underneath so need to mesh it so it kind of moves a little bit better than it will right now and we'll just plop it into the warp with the existing ruffle there. Okay, it's now in with this uh, booba ruffle and it should move with the body. Yep. All right, but obviously you don't want this <laughs> orange stuff here. So we're actually going to go to this uh, control object and turn this opacity down to zero. And you're also at this point gonna want to make a note of what the art mesh ID is because this uses clipping. So I'm gonna copy that. All right, and then you'll need to add the actual glitter, which I just have one big image. So there's a lot of glitter to like move around as this uh, animates. So let me show you what my actual shimmer looks like. All right, this is my shimmer. Uh, I put different colors in it because I thought it might show up with some different stuff. And uh, yeah, it's obviously a huge mess. I think I'm actually going to resize it a little bit for this one. Make it a little bit smaller. And now with that uh, mesh of the control, the ID, we're going to add a clipping ID for the control. Make that this clipping ID. And now it will just show up on the control. And I will make this into an additive so it's nice and sparkly. Now in theory, when she moves, it should sparkle. So let's test it out. Wow! Yeah, so it's a really simple effect, but I think it looks really nice. And I also think it looks pretty realistic as far as like how Shimmer actually looks. So yeah. Um, I'm really enjoying this effect and I hope you guys get some use out of it. You can also animate the shimmer itself if you want it to move a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks really nice. All right, hope, hope that was helpful. <laughs> uh, go make your babies sparkly. Okay, bye!